Hi hey guys, welcome back to Data Every Day. Today we'll be looking at the ultimate Halloween candy power ranking and trying to determine if a, if a uh, candy bar is a bar or not based on a series of uh, attributes. So let's get started. Uh, you can see I'm importing the four usual libraries, NumPy, Pandas, well this is optional but matplotlib.pyplot as well and Seaborn to be able to see the uh, correlations more clearly. So um, we'll start by loading in our data and you can get the file path right over here paste that in and then uh, just take a, take a look at it. So you can see we have um, a lot of different candy bars, actually only 85 and uh, a series of binary features a bit, whether the, the bar is chocolate, fruity, caramel, peanutty, almondy nougat, uh, crisp rice wafer, hard or bar, and uh, some other statistics as well. Um, the thing is, I was originally going to do win percent, but it turned out that the model was very bad at being able to predict a win percent. I think I got an accuracy of about like 11 percent, or uh, it, was a, it was a linear regression model, but it, it was performing very poorly. So if we take a look at, um, well first of all, before anything, I want to drop the competitor name. And I'll save it in a list called, actually it'll be its own little series there called uh, competitor name. Call it names. And then I'm just going to drop it from the data set. This way if I need to reference a candy bar later, I can get it in names. that. Just take a look at data again. You can see now we don't have it. And we'll, we're just going to try to visualize this data set a little bit. So uh, we'll use Seaborn to get a heat map of the correlation matrix for the data. So specify the figure size 12 by 10. It's good for a heat map. And Seaborn.heatmap and we're going to pass in the correlation matrix. We're going to turn our annotations on and just specify the min and max values for the correlations. Okay. Plot.show. Take a look. So, um, as you can see, the win percent is not really that correlated. Uh, um, although it has some, I, I what I noticed was that bar is actually um, has a lot more stronger correlations in it uh, than win percent. So I decided, you know, let me try predict if a candy bar is a bar or not, and that actually turned out to be much easier. So um, let's go ahead and do that. We'll pre-process our data, and this data set is extremely simple and very clean and very small. So there's not a lot of pre-processing we need to do. First we'll check if there's any null values. Uh, and there's not a single null value in any any column. So we don't have to worry about that. And uh, additionally, everything is in numerical form. So we don't have to worry about encoding any of the, the values. So what if we just, just go ahead and scale our data right away? So I'm going to import, uh, actually, from sklearn.preprocessing. I'm going to import the min-max scalar. And I choose min-max here because most of our data is already between 0 and 1. So it'll just be simple, uh, a bit of stretching the data for these three right here. So um, did I import that? Let's do that. And then uh, we're going to make a scalar object. There's a min-max scalar, and x is going to be scaled with the fit transform function. So this is uh, going to fit our scalar to x, and then transform x accordingly, and store it back into the original variable. Oh, we haven't defined x yet. One second. Y should be the bar column, because that's what we're trying to predict, right? Bar. 
and x should be everything except it. So data.drop bar along the column axis. Run that. Now we'll scale this. However, fit transform returns a numpy array, and I want it as a pandas data frame. So I'm going to uh, turn it back into a data frame. And I'm going to keep the columns as they were. Run that. Oh, well, I guess I didn't import. Oh, what? I misspelled this. Two S's. Okay. So now X is uh, very similar to what we had before, except you can see these values, 0.732, has been stretched up ever so slightly because um, I'm guessing no bar had a sugar percent of 100% and no bar had a sugar percent of 0%. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe the one of those is true, but at least one of those is not true because it somehow stretched the data a little bit to to be exactly between zero and one. That's what the min-max scalar does. Okay, so now that we've scaled our data and we have our x, we're just going to split it between train and test sets. And for this, we're going to use sklearn's train test split. So from sklearn dot model selection import train test split. Okay, train test split x y, and since the uh, there's such a, a small number of of examples here, we're going to make a train size of seventy percent. All right, and then. Uh, here we will just oh wait this should be markdown uh training and now uh we will set up our model which will be a logistic regression model here for binary classification so from sk learn dot linear model port logistic regression Let me set it up here. Create our model. We're going to fit our model to the training set, X train, Y train. And then we're just going to see how our model performed. We'll use an F string to just display it nicely. Model accuracy. And the uh, value to get the, the accuracy is the score function, model.score and we'll evaluate it on our x test, y test pairs. And we get an overall accuracy of 92%. And that's pretty good considering we have a very small data set and uh, there's not so many features to use. We are able to predict whether a candy is a bar or not based on uh, these features uh, with 92.3% accuracy. So I know this was a short video, but uh, I wanted to keep it quick today. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment below with any suggestions. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot.